Rallo went down for eight years after the cops found a mill worth of weed on his jet, and now one of his homies is calling him a rat. It's a wild case where even lawyers are getting investigated. And today, we're breaking down the whole situation and why everyone thinks Rallo might have snitched. Rallo came up in the streets of Atlanta and started popping off in the rap game back in 2015. He linked up with huge artists like Future, 21 Savage, and Lil Uzi Burt, and ended up signing a deal with Gucci Mane on his 1017 Eskimo label. But even though his career was going up, it turns out that Rallo was still moving heavy weight in the trenches and got caught with a million dollars of weed on a private jet. When he touched down in Atlanta, the cops raided his plane and Rallo had no chance of getting away from the situation. To make matters worse, Rallo could have already been home by now. According to reports, Rallo was offered a five-year plea deal in 2019, but he turned it down. He caught a break the next year and was granted bond before trial, but then a judge revoked it because Rallo was allegedly still moving drugs from behind bars. In 2021, Rallo hopped on IG and claimed that he was only still locked up because his homie Dunky Wild had flipped on him. Dunky denied snitching on Rallo, but that wasn't the only drama going on with the case. According to a YouTuber named 1090 Jake, Rallo's original lawyer in the case was investigated for allegedly being a drug supplier too. Last June, a judge handed down an eight-year sentence, but Rallo's team told fans he could be back home by 2023. On IG, they said that Rallo was given four years for time served. Plus, he had another one and a half years taken off for good behavior. They said he could get out even earlier if he completed a GED or drug program. It looked like Rallo was about to get out and hop back into the rap game full time. But now the situation's heating up after his homie released paperwork that allegedly proved Rallo flipped. John Doe is another rapper from Atlanta who had a deal with Rallo's Famerica record label. They've always been tight, and that's why everyone was shocked when John started calling Rallo a rat on social media. The paperwork allegedly says that the specific information that Mr. Davis supposedly gave in the June 6th proffer against other persons, other alleged transactions, other alleged crimes. Rallo calls it all cap and said that he has never lied and would never cooperate with the government. He said, my dog food plug dead, the person they accused of shooting for me dead, and the other dude they questioned dead too. But after Rallo put out his statement, a jail call between John and him leaked where John is pressing him over the paperwork. Rallo said the paperwork was from a prosecutor misconduct hearing and that he didn't give up info on anyone, but John wasn't buying it. He kept pressing him over the documents and Rallo said that he never told and that the only reason anyone knows about the paperwork is because of the prosecution misconduct hearing. Things weren't looking good for Rallo, but then 1090 Jake posted a video and aired out the whole situation. According to 1090 Jake, John actually hit him up a while ago and was trying to sell the paperwork he leaked. Jake says he didn't buy the documents, but John ended up sending some of it over anyway. The paperwork from the case is still sealed, so nobody really knows the full story yet, but here's how everything allegedly went down. When Rallo got caught in the plane with a mill worth of weed, he didn't have a lot of options to handle the situation. But instead of taking all the time to himself, he allegedly offered to pay someone else 400k to take the fall. The feds weren't buying it though, and Rallo ended up admitting to buying a fall guy. Rallo allegedly tried to give him more info on his other crimes to get a lesser sentence, but it wasn't enough for them to offer a deal because they wanted info on murders and more serious crimes. 1090 Jake also pointed out that John only leaked part of the paperwork and edited the phone call with Rallo, so we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. Some people said John only started the drama because he's trying to get more eyes on his own career, and that's when the situation took another turn. DJ Academics posted paperwork that proves Rallo only talked to the feds about himself. According to the documents, Rallo admitted that all the drugs on the plane were his and nobody else was involved. When the feds tried to question him about other people, Rallo refused to provide any evidence on other individuals in his drug enterprise. After the true story broke, Rallo hopped on social media to shout out 1090 Jake for airing it all out. Rallo also said that he wasn't even going to speak on the situation until he found out that 21 Savage had called his lawyer to ask about the rumors. Rallo said 21 questioning him broke his heart, but he was still happy that 21 got to hear the real story. 21 Savage confirmed everything and said that Rallo didn't tell on anybody but himself. The last few days have been wild for Rallo, but he said that 21 was never against him and even sent him 40k to help feed his family while he's locked up. Back in 2021, Rallo said he could have been out like Takashi 69 if he ratted, but he would rather lay in his bunk than sit on that stand to come home. It's clear that the feds wanted to use him to bring a lot of other people down, but now we have real proof that Rallo stayed solid the whole time. So based on all the evidence that's available right now, this is how it all went down. Rallo got busted on the plane with all of the weed. He knew he couldn't beat the case since they found him on the plane with everything, so he decided to pay someone off to take the charge for him. After the feds found out he was trying to hustle him, Rallo admitted to everything and tried to offer up more info on himself in exchange for less time. But when the info wasn't enough and the feds started pressing him for dirt on everybody else, Rallo completely refused to cooperate and had to take his full sentence. 
It's been a wild week for Rallo, but at least he got to see his daughter for the first time in five years back on Easter. They haven't been able to have any contact since he got booked in 2018. And on Easter, she was allowed to visit him in prison for the first time. Rallo posted pics of them together on IG and said that he never wanted to call himself a rapper because of the industry. But now he's thankful for the rap game because it let him take care of his family the whole time he's been locked up. If everything goes right, Rallo should be back home before the end of the year. And now that he's proven he never snitched, he should be able to leave all the drama behind and focus on getting his career popping again. He's been dropping projects from inside, but it's tough to keep your momentum up when you're behind bars for half a decade. Rallo will still have five years of parole after he gets out, but hopefully he'll stay out of trouble and get his bread back up in the rap game.